Ezio. Dio mio, you're alive. I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. All right, practice with the Hidden Blades pistol modification. Learn how to use the pistol. So is that the final thing on the weapon wheel? Then, oh my goodness, it is. Like, I already knew a bit about that ahead of time, but still, it's still surprising to see, you know? Oh, do I go in here? This away? Over here, then. Alright, so lock onto your target with that button, and then press and hold that to shoot. So... Oh my. Oh my! We now have a freaking wrist gun. So if I do that early, then yeah, I'm not gonna be aiming, I guess. So I gotta hold it to do that, then. Okay. Okay, then. So yeah, we literally have a gun. On Ezio's wrist now. Turn to Leonardo's workshop. My, oh my. So now we have the completed weapon wheel, finally. We have all the tools in our arsenal here. <laughs> One of which is a gun. Incredible. Um, excuse me, I've got places to be- What the heck was that that just flew past? Anyway. You've done me good, brother. Macerto. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with the new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... Uh, a mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Theodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way, yes. Sister, and that's you. You can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? We are now a masked dude. Knowledge is power synced. Oh, I still have my weapons, though. Oh, can I not? Okay, I yeah, I still have my weapons and such. I was about to say, I thought maybe the game would restrict me to, like, just the hidden blade or something. Maybe it'll do that in the next mission here, in that case. Alright, so is this going to be the E3 trailer mission, essentially? What was that thing that I saw here? Another assassin tomb. Okay, let's just go do the mission for now, since that's closer. No, not another bard. Okay, and now I, now I have a gun that I can wind up accidentally shooting him with if, if it comes to that. My oh my. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Also, I love how the freaking mask protects me from anybody identifying me. And not the fact that I wear the same garb as always. Or my face is already concealed by this hood or whatever the heck. Nah. That'd be silly. <laughs> but the mask will do it. Oh, here's this bit where, like, the freaking archer and I got into a freaking punching fight. <laughs> One time. Good times. Good times indeed. So how does that benefit me more than the throwing knives, I wonder? I am- like the throwing knives are probably silent but don't do a lot of damage, but I imagine the gun is probably something that kills immediately if I had to guess. If I had to hazard a guess, I was debating about shooting that guy there, but I think I might want to save my bullets. I don't know how I can get more of them. Like, 
You probably oh, can't just get them from a blacksmith, considering, you know, people weren't exactly going around with guns during this time. People are on the roofs here with bows and arrows, for crying out loud. Yeah, I won't deny that they're upset. Or upset. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Also, this is my first time I'm doing a playthrough of it. Oh, crud. Oh. Well, this was apparently the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay, I don't actually want to ride this right now. Yeah, I've heard really good things about this game, and I have not been disappointed so far. I've played some later games in this series, but recently I started a series on the complete series of this game. Or, of this game series. And I mean the complete series. We've played through, through a very strange DS and PSP game along the way. Which were a bit bumpy. Um, and are now finally on to this game. Many, many years ago, I started playing this game, and it didn't really hook me a whole lot. I wasn't all that interested in it, all that engaged in it. But nowadays, as I'm playing it, I'm so confused about how it didn't hook me back then. Because I'm actually really, really enjoying this game, honestly. Like, I'm genuinely confused why I wasn't super hooked into it the first time. Where is the phone game story-wise? Okay, when I say that I'm planning on doing a... Comp a series on the complete series of this series essentially i do plan on even addressing the apps maybe not a full playthrough of the apps but at least a single session with each of them if i can get them working there's a couple that you can't actually get anymore so it'll be tricky I'm, i might have to get creative but yeah we'll see <laughs> antonio we need to talk Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Theodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Mr. Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Well, that was abrupt. Damsel's in distress. Chase down and kill the mur- Oh, and that art there shows using the gun. Should we shoot him? In that case, with our new tool here? Do I still have my mask? I do! Now nobody will know who I am. Thank goodness for that. I can't lock on to him. Don't make me kill again. I can't. Wrong guy. Aha! Uh, freaking... Time to die! I swear if that dude got in the way right at that moment. <laughs> well, that was quick. I guess that was just another gun tutorial in that case. Please, that was quick. Just, <laughs> just shoot him with the gun. Easy peasy. Have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. <laughs> None the wiser, how punny. Speak with Theodore about Marco Barbarigo. Okay. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me. Anyway. Why is it you wear a nun's habit? Yeah, I'll be quiet here. <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. Also, I have a new cape. When did that happen? Um. You run a bordello. So, I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice. Do I have these off? Maybe I'll leave the doggo one on. To do with my body, 
These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depth of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Anyway, as I was saying there, now that seems like I can talk again. Yeah, we've already played through all the games in the series up to this point, so not just one and two. And man, Altair's Chronicles is bad. Come on, come on. The games of Carnivale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come. Compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Do I have to play carnival games? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, I have a whole bunch of different missions. Anyway, yeah, we've played through all the games up to this point. So, Assassin's Creed 1, Altair's Chronicles, and Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Then we started this game. And Altair's Chronicles was probably... It might well be the strangest playthrough I've ever done on this channel. Well, maybe not the strangest playthrough. I've done some crazy things like beating Undertale Genocide with oven mitts. <laughs> it's probably the strangest game I've ever played through. That game was hella weird, hella glitchy, hella unrefined. Man, that game was weird. <laughs> 